Cosmic 3D is a way of visualising cancer mutations in the context of 3D protein structures. So let's dive into the data and how to make the most of Cosmic 3D. Firstly, which protein structure to pick? To view a gene, just search for the name using our search bar. For the purposes of this tutorial, we're focusing on BRAF. The first point of note is that there are 69 different potential structures you could look at. By the description, they are all different, as described by the tags. You can pick structures with a ligand or antibodies bound, or if you want the protein in a monomeric or multimeric form. And finally, non-protein biopolymers refers to a protein attached to a bit of DNA, or others like RNA. So if you're looking for a typical BRAF, which one should you pick? A good place to start is to scroll down to this box and select Show All Structures. Here you can see the coverage along the gene for each PDB. In this case, we have the majority of structure covering the end of the gene, whereas others which cover the start can be seen lower down. You can use this to pick the structure that covers the regions you are most interested in. The colours you can see relate to the missense mutation occurrence. The yellow indicates fewer reported mutations, and red indicates the site where most of the mutations are located. To note, the numbers on the scales are relative. BRAF runs from 0 to 50,000 because it's a well-researched gene, but other less researched genes have scales running to the hundreds or thousands, or even tens, as you can see for TNFSF4 here. The blobs, or highlights, refer to important mutations and the space occupied by amino acid side chains. We'll come to more about this later. If you're looking to specifically see how these highlight mutations may be interacting with ligands, you can switch on or off different aspects of the view using these switches. You can also turn off the highlights and just see the structure by turning off their visibility using the little eye icons next to each one. Onto small molecule binding sites. Our pipeline predicts which spaces inside the protein will have enough volume for a small molecule to fit. You can click on one of these and it will show the volume that it occupies on your 3D protein structure. In our BRAF example, we can see that this pocket matches the drug that is shown within this structure, so it predicted accurately. In this case, it isn't a novel site, but there are many other protein structures where the pockets are not researched yet, or no one knows if those pockets are going to work or not. So Cosmic 3D holds valuable novel insights. These green highlighted binding sites are the most important ones. And this comes from the drug ability score, which is determined from a number of factors within the pipeline. The other information we have includes the total volume of the pocket and the solvent accessibility surface area. This refers to the area of the pocket that is immediately in contact with the solvent. The last feature is the unapproach sequence mapping and consequences of mutations. As discussed earlier, we map each gene to a protein sequence and align them, as you can see here. Underneath, you can look at specific mutations. The most commonly known mutation in BRAF V600E is very clear to see on our frequency graph, but you can see more details on the graph below in pink. Each mark is an individual mutation. You can then click to zoom in on a particular mutation. For example, G469V. If we scroll back to the top, we can see more detailed information and the potential impact of this mutation on the protein. So for instance, a change from a small to a large amino acid and a gain of a negative charge. Our pipeline tells us that this change is predicted to destabilize the protein structure. Other useful information appears here as well. For example, G469V affects a protein kinase domain, a region where the ATP combined, and we can see which kind of cancers this mutation is reported in. 
And on to the exciting bit. You can actually see the predicted side chain of the new amino acid and the space it might occupy. Cosmic 3D substitutes the old amino acid with the new one. And in this instance, you can see the new chain comes into close proximity with the existing ligand in the pocket. And we have this for all of the missense mutations in all of the different structures for all of the genes in Cosmic 3D, a process that is being updated regularly. Thank you for watching. We're always looking for ways to improve our products. So if you have any feedback or questions, please contact Cosmic at cosmic at sanger.ac.uk. That's cosmic at sanger.ac.uk.